Hi guys, today I am going to show you how to install Android Studio. So let's get started. So first of all, open your favorite browser and type in Android Studio and open the first link and click uh, this button so you can download the android studio click i have read click download and the download will be started click i have cancelled it because i have already downloaded it now and uh, let me double click this file and let me install it it will ask you the permissions which is yes or no and you need to say yes I yeah you need to say yes to give it the permissions to install it on your system and click next and uh, if you have more than 8 gb then i will recommend you to install this android virtual device it is nothing but creating a, a phone on your pc and i'm going to uncheck that and click next next click install and it is going to take some time in order to install the program now as you can see here my installation is completed and now i am going to click next again and i am going to click start android studio and click finish and you need to say do not import settings because you previously you don't have any android studio installed so you do, you say don't import settings and click ok and it is going to load and it you need to have a high speed internet because you need to download some files in order to run the android studio and you need to click next and you can select custom and standard there is no difference between that if it is custom you can change the colors and fund i'm going to choose with you can choose either dracula theme or IntelliJ theme i'm going with IntelliJ theme and these all files will be downloaded so you need to have the internet in order to download these files now let me click finish and it will take some time depending on your internet connection it will take time so i will pause the video here and when it completes i'm going to start that again now as my download is complete i am going to click the finish and it is going to start the android studio it says start a new project open existing android studio project and check out project from version control one another thing which is if you have previously installed android studio and it didn't work you then you need to do this you need to go to system and you need to go windows c users admin user these three files android android studio and a gradle file will be also be present and you are going to delete these three files and then install the android studio again now let's concentrate on creating a new android studio project click start a new android studio project leave it with the defaults and just click next and i will explain everything later click just click next 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 and you can see it is done now click finish as it is the first time you are building an application it takes some time more time now as you can see here it is applying all the scripts which are required for the application now when you are doing this you need to have the internet so that it downloads whatever the required files now as you can see it has downloaded but we have some error called as this install missing platforms install the missing platform and sync project yep click this one 
as you can see when i click that it is going to download the sdk platform which are required 27 is the latest version and 26 is the previous version now let me pause this now as you can see my sdk platform 26 is installed now i'm just going to click finish when i click finish it is going to load and again you need to click install build tools 26 and again it is going to download and unzip the files which are required now it is done now again click finish and it is again going to check whether any files are required now you need to wait until all this process are done what are these processing is doing is it checks whether it has any errors or not if it has any errors it is going to tell us now as you can see all my process are done and my build has been finished now i do not have any errors that means i can run this code and there will be no problem when i run this code so that's it guys you have successfully installed android studio and in the next part we are going to learn the fundamentals about android studio